All right, we're now being joined by the head coach of the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights, Greg Arenda, as well as Darnell Edge and Jaleel Jenkins. Uh, Greg, if you like, you can start with an opening statement, and sure. we'll open the floor for questions. I, I, I just want to uh, – hats off to Prairie View. Um, obviously, they came out and made 15 threes, and they shot 32%, I think, for the, for the year. So they were ready. Their defense – we were lucky to be in the game at halftime if it wasn't for Darnell Edge. We were down seven, and we were fortunate. Um, I want to thank our fans and Fairley Dickinson administration and anyone that ever put on a blue and burgundy jersey. Tonight we made history. It's the first time in the 75-year history of Fairley Dickinson that we've won a NCAA tournament game. That's history, um, and it's really it's overwhelming from where we came to where we are now. I sat here three years ago, losing to Florida Gulf Coast by over 30 points, and I was proud. Uh, and I sit here today, winning our first game ever, and I'm proud because these guys, and I told Reggie Miller before the game, and I've told everybody, Jaleel Jenkins has the biggest heart in Ohio right now. Um, as a sophomore, he took over the game in the second half, and what can be said about Darnell Edge? He became our all-time leading three-point shot maker. He scored 33 points, and he scored all the points to keep us in the game at halftime. Without Darnell, we would not have been able to come back. Um, I'm just humbled. I love Dayton. I loved it the last time, and I love it more. And uh, I'm very, very humbled, um, but very excited to take our basketball team to Salt Lake City to play a number one seed in Gonzaga. All right, questions for Darnell and Jaleel only, right here on the left. <clears throat> Could you describe your emotion? I think you, you had the ball when the clock went off and you threw it in the air. Could you just describe what that, what that moment felt like for you? It was just a great feeling for me being here three years ago and losing um, by, like Coach said, over 30 points and then coming back this year and being able to get a win. It was, it was just a great feeling. It's history and I wouldn't have wanted to do it with any other team. Right here on the right. Shove or, or something from, from coach there. I don't know if it was going into the 16 or the 12-minute time out there in the second half, and then you came out, and I think the next four position uh, possessions hit buckets. Was there something that kind of got you going down? Um, no, I just, I just kept playing my game. Um, my teammates and my coach always told me, like, keep your head up and like, just keep leading the team, and um, they always give me confidence. So I knew if I keep playing, then I'll be fine. Based on where your coach was almost a year ago now health-wise, I mean, is there a little extra um, – motivation or, or uh, specialness to this moment because of that? Julio, can you answer that, please? Yes. Coach, coach G is probably one of the best coaches I ever have. Um, it, was, it was tough when he, was, when he wasn't doing so good, and we knew that we had to win this game for him and for our fans. Darnell? Same question. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. You know, having Coach go through that last year, I, I remember us being in practice and him always just telling us that – he just wanted to be there with us. All he thought about while he was in the hospital was us. So, you know, we rallied together, and uh, it's just a great win for us, for our program, and I'm just happy. Right here in the aisle. Uh, you have any flashbacks of three years ago in that first half? You're, you're down 19-6, and, you know, and I guess yes. coach, coach talked about, I think talked said yesterday that just he felt how big experience would be for you guys. And maybe if you were younger, you guys would have – wouldn't have had that fight in you. Was do you, how much do you think experience helped today? I definitely think it, it helped a lot because I, I've been at the stage before, and uh, I've, I've been through the battles with this team. So just being able to you know share my experience with the younger guys and, and just help lead the team, uh, and just keep everybody composed. Was, yeah. Any further questions for Darnell or Jaleel? All right, guys, thank you for your time. Good luck Thursday against Gonzaga. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Oh, wait, you guys stick around, Coach. <laughs> now, uh, questions for Coach Arenda. Yeah, right here on the right. Right there. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Coach, Mark Narducci of the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, Mike Holloway is a guy we covered in high school and everything, and he had a big bucket down near the end. I know he had some, some tough shots tonight, but yeah. can you just tell what he's meant to this program? Yeah, Mike, 
Mike had a tough night and a great night because everything was – they were really gearing their defense towards him. And he just kept battling. And he had 10 and 14. And everyone – you know, everyone and, – and me and Mike have battled because I know how good Mike can be. And Mike – knows how he could be. And when, you, when you're at that edge of greatness, conflict is a part of it. But it's, good, it's great conflict. He's been the cornerstone of our program, and people still want him to get better because he's, he's as big as a house. And, and he's got a heart, and he's a beautiful kid. And, um, and it was a tough night, but the perseverance that he showed tonight um, – was great and our team just kept on talking to him and talking to him and he texted me something personal right before the game and which my players never text me because they just, I try to, they stay away from me and 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 as soon as we grabbed each other after the game um, we had a special embrace so I've got great kids, man, and that is the battle in this world. The better the kid, the better the team, the better the chance you have to succeed. And Mike Holloway is, is just a superb kid as, long as, as, as well as these two guys. Right here in the aisle. Um, Greg, tell me, I, I think I saw that Darnell, when he was uh, going into – his, I think it was summer of his senior year. Yeah. He, he had no offers. And right. You guys saw him. Can you take me through his hey, – Yo, Grant, Grant Billmeyer, I give credit where credit is due. And I was an assistant for 22 years. And I know what assistants do. And Grant Billmeyer made me go watch this kid play. And I wanted to save the scholarship. And he's like, gee, I like him. He's your kind of kid. He shoots it. And he played the point guard position. And I, I went, and I loved him. And I was mad because – <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to go home after the first game and say, Grant, I don't like him. Because it was the last day of the recruiting period. And I'm like, I loved him. And I followed him and followed him and followed him. And he committed in August, I think July or August, of his high school year. So he had already graduated, and he was only 17 years old. Averaged four points a game his freshman year. Averaged nine, averaged 14, and now he had 33. So if anybody, any of the kids that are watching this tournament, I know you want to watch Zion and you want to watch all the great ones. So do I. But the, 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 these are the heroes. These are the heroes, the kids that are like the people watching TV, that get better every day. And uh, that's why March, to me, is, is mad. It's mad. Yep, follow up. He's trying to figure out why he didn't have any Division One offers. I'm happy he didn't get any offers. I just, I don't, you know, there's a lot of kids out there. There's a lot of kids in Philly. There's a lot of kids. I see John Feinstein. A lot of kids in D.C. A lot of kids don't get the opportunities. That's the key. And you got to find the kids. Give them the opportunity and then the work ethic. And then guess what? Bang. It's over. And these are, and, I, and you hear it in this podium all the time about how great the kids are, but my kids are better. I, re I just I believe that, and they sense that, and there there goes their enthusiasm. Time for a couple more right here on the aisle. So you, you said you were having flashbacks to Florida Gulf Coast in that first half. <clears throat> we made the first two threes, and I'm like, okay, here we are. And then we we went cold for eight minutes, and they're good. That's a good, fast, well coached. They're good. And but I knew we had it. I knew, not that we, I knew we were going to win the game, but I knew we were going to show our medal, and we did. And then the, I, I think it was the under eight timeout, I said, we just have to get the lead, and we're going to run away and hide. And then they said it making threes that I've, I've never seen those threes from anybody. And so they didn't quit. That was a great first game of this tournament, I think. Is that correct, guys? I mean, that was exciting. And Jaleel Jenkins, if you don't want to take him home and hug him, you know, like, that kid took the building over, and, and that's our goal, to go to Utah and stay close, hang around, and get a lead. I mean, that's quite honestly what we're thinking about right now. But, and call us crazy, but uh, that's what we are. Last one here on the right. After the performance last year, what level, it looked like you were 
very much soaking in and enjoying the moment there after the win. Do you have a different level of appreciation or being able to be in the moment because of that? Yeah. It was just, it was, it was, it's overwhelming. When you coach for 35 years and you take a team to an NCAA tournament and a team that, when I got here six years ago, we had nothing. And to build it, it's, it's, it's all those hours and all those, and then it's here. And it's so sad that every coach can't experience this. High school, college, because the feeling that is here should be in every coach, because every coach does what I do. They work hard, they love it, they're engaged. They get try to do, and then when you get here, it's, and I was here three years ago. I was the first coach out of 68 to be up here after we got our fannies kicked. So I know that feeling too. But this feeling is, it's, it's special. Greg, thank you. Thank you very Good much, everybody.